Alcus began beneath the ocean, but its next evolution is taking to the skies. While submarines and shipbuilding dominate headlines, the Alliance's future strength may rest in a new form of air power, a combination of Britain's sixth-generation Tempest fighter program and Australia's MQ-28 Ghost Bat Loyal Wingman drones. Together, they represent the unspoken air wing of AUKUS, a hybrid force blending human judgment with machine autonomy. Britain's Tempest, now officially part of the Global Combat Air Program with Italy and Japan, has entered a critical stage. In 2025, the Ministry of Defense and BAE Systems unveiled the first combat air flying demonstrator, a piloted aircraft designed to test the sensors, engines, and digital systems that will define the Tempest's architecture. The UK plans for a first flight before 2027, a tight schedule that signals political commitment and industrial urgency. The demonstrator will refine the jet's digital backbone, enabling seamless communication with unmanned assets, the very interface that could allow future British or Allied pilots to command drones like Australia's Ghost Bat. Meanwhile, in the Southern Hemisphere, the Royal Australian Air Force and Boeing Defence Australia have been expanding the Ghost Bat test program. Originally codenamed Loyal Wingman, the MQ-28 is a low-cost, modular combat drone built to accompany crewed aircraft in high-risk missions. In mid-2025, it successfully completed integrated trials with the E-7 Wedgetail Command aircraft, sharing targeting and surveillance data through secure links. Australia is now constructing a production facility in Toowoomba to scale domestic manufacturing. This marks one of the most mature autonomy programs in the Indo-Pacific, giving Canberra a sovereign pathway to field combat-capable drones without full dependence on U.S. exports. Technically, the convergence between Tempest and Ghost Bat lies in how both projects approach autonomy and networking. The Tempest aims to serve as a combat node, a stealthy, sensor-rich aircraft capable of commanding multiple autonomous platforms through an open architecture system. It fuses radar, infrared, electronic warfare, and AI-assisted threat evaluation in real time. The Ghost Bat, by contrast, is an attritable platform, cheaper, expendable, yet intelligent enough to fly semi-independently once given mission objectives. Where Tempest provides decision-making, the Ghost Bat provides distributed sensing, decoy coverage, and first-strike flexibility. Together, they form a human-machine ecosystem that turns a few aircraft into a networked swarm. Operationally, such cooperation changes the economics of air warfare. A Tempest pilot could direct several ghost bats to scout enemy air defenses or jam radars ahead of a strike, minimizing risk to human life. In a maritime scenario, a ghost bat formation could identify surface threats hundreds of kilometers away and transmit data to hunter-class frigates or P-8 Poseidon patrols. These concepts are already being tested digitally in Royal Air Force simulators, reflecting lessons drawn from Ukraine's drone-heavy battle space. The goal is to compress the decision cycle, to detect, assign, and attack before the adversary can react. The industrial logic of this partnership is equally significant. Britain's GCAP consortium provides the design authority for advanced flight control, sensor integration, and AI algorithms, while Australia contributes physical production capacity and open-terrain test ranges ideally suited for autonomous trials. 
Under the 50-year AUKUS Treaty, signed in Geelong in 2025, London and Canberra have already committed to shared defence industrial infrastructure. This opens the door for joint research on autonomy, secure communications and machine learning applied to flight operations. If executed properly, it would distribute technological risk and build resilience against supply chain disruptions, a central objective of the UK's new defence industrial strategy. The strategic payoff could be transformative in a region as vast as the Indo-Pacific, massed formations of expensive crewed aircraft are impractical. What matters is persistent presence, distributed sensors, and the ability to strike or relay data across immense distances. A network combining Tempest-class fighters and Ghost Bat drones offers precisely that, a scalable mix of sophistication and quantity. For Australia, this would offset the limited number of F-35As and provide strategic depth until the SSN AUKUS submarines arrive in the 2030s. For Britain, it extends influence into the Pacific without deploying large air wings abroad. The software and doctrine would travel faster than the airframes. Yet several obstacles remain. The technology for reliable autonomy in combat is not fully mature. Data links can be jammed. AI decision-making still requires human-in-the-loop safeguards. The rules of engagement for lethal uncrewed aircraft are politically sensitive, and export controls could restrict integration between GC App and Boeing systems. Financial pressure is another factor. The UK's combat air strategy already strains the defence budget and cost overruns could slow GCAP's momentum. Analysts note that keeping multiple international partners aligned, Italy, Japan and potentially Saudi Arabia, is itself a complex diplomatic exercise. Australia will watch these dynamics carefully before committing to formal participation. Still, the direction is clear. The future of AUKUS air power is not about replacing pilots, but multiplying them through networks of semi-autonomous companions. The Ghost Bat is already providing the Royal Australian Air Force with operational experience in manned-unmanned teaming. The Tempest will bring the doctrinal backbone, stealth, data fusion, and mission command. If these strands intertwine, AUKUS could field the world's first integrated human-machine strike system by the mid-2030s. This convergence carries broader implications. It signals that Britain and Australia intend to compete in the emerging algorithmic battle space, where data and software define air dominance as much as aerodynamics. It also demonstrates that AUKUS is maturing into a technology ecosystem, not merely a submarine contract. Laser weapons like Dragon Fire may protect ships. Long-range missiles may project power. But the ability to coordinate autonomous aircraft across oceans represents the Alliance's most ambitious leap. It aligns with the 2025 Strategic Defense Review's theme, Secure at Home, Strong Abroad, by combining national innovation with collective deterrence. For Southeast Asia, this evolution is worth close attention. As AUKUS partners refine machine-assisted air warfare, regional air forces will need to adapt to new standards of electronic warfare, data security, and counter-autonomy measures. Britain's and Australia's experiments will shape export markets, training regimes, and coalition tactics far beyond their borders. A decade from now, air power in the Indo-Pacific may no longer be measured in squadrons, but in network nodes and processing speed. AUKUS began under the sea, forging silent strength through nuclear submarines. 
Its next frontier is invisible, digital, and airborne. Tempest and Ghost Bat, one built for command, the other for cooperation, symbolize a shift from hardware to networks, from manpower to machine synergy. As the first Tempest demonstrator prepares for flight and the Ghost Bat rolls out of its Australian factory, the Alliance's future may already be taxiing down the runway. <laughs>